Hi everyone and welcome to the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen sponsored by T-Set. I am here today with Chef Val from OUT School of Community Medicine and Julie is joining us from T-Set. Thank you for always being here and we always have a good time. That's right. I mean, come on. So I always let Chef Val just take the lead. So what are we making today? We're making some lemony cauliflower soup. So um, really easy. We're chopping up some onion and garlic, sauteing it in some oil, olive oil or canola oil. And then kind of to look back into January when we did our back to basic series and yes. um, we did a lot of roasting and so oops lost one that's all right um so this is roasted cauliflower so tossed in a little bit of olive oil salt and pepper okay 375 400 in the oven something like that where it starts getting some caramelization on it and gets nice and soft and then it just goes into this pan it's going to get stock put on it and okay. a lot of lemon zest a little salt and pepper okay really very very basic soup and then it's going to get pureed in a few minutes another like one pot a one pot wonder that's I mean, right. right yes one pot because you can do it all in one pot and i love the fact that you're using the roasting technique because we can always go back to basics mm -hmm. and with back to basics we are learning healthier choices which is what t sets all about correct? that's right that's right our goal is to help oklahomans live longer healthier lives mm -hmm. and one of the ways that we do that is through shape your future so our partnership here is to really get the resources out, let people know these are easy things that you can do, um, make it accessible. And of course, you can find those resources at shapeyourfutureok.com. Pull that up and they'll get all the information they need. And again, it's very similar things you're doing in everyday life. You're just making those little changes that'll make the big differences in your life. Absolutely. And the lemon zest always makes a oh, difference without yes. adding calories. They, it adds a ton of flavor, which yes. we're, we're finding out, we're smelling all of those good things. So you were at, everything is in the pot, mm -hmm. and then we go from where? Like how long or? So this is gonna be brought up to a simmer. It's gonna be boiling rapidly or bubbling rapidly. Okay. And then we're gonna let that cook for 20 minutes or so until that cauliflower really just starts fall falling apart. Okay. And then you can use either an immersion blender or just a regular stand blender mm -hmm. and get that soup nice and creamy. It can still have some chunks in it. If you don't have a high powered blender, it might be a little chunky, but guess what? Still really right. delicious. Still good soup. Yep, still good soup. And you're gonna get this. Yes. yes. The final product, once you have pureed it, and it looks amazing, and once again we get to taste. I always yes. feel kind of bad, sorry, that you don't ever get to taste Well, I tasted food. it earlier. <laughs> oh, okay. So I will hand you a spoon. Thank you. We will get to taste it. And the other thing that you could do is you could mm, add a good. can very of like good. white beans to this. Oh, true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could stretch it a little bit and it just gives it some more protein and fiber. So that just gives a you nice... a little more of a fulfilling. Yeah, smoky lemony flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very yep. good. It's very good. Thank you, as always, for having amazing recipes. If you guys want to learn more about this recipe or any of the other recipes or tips, go ahead and head to our website, kjrh.com.